They ain't gotta worry if the bag is coming in. I've been putting hours after hours after hours after hours in. I deserve all this glossy drip that I am showered in. Yeah, 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 he's shallow upstream without a paddle. Big drip, dip my toe up in the shallow end. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juanita. If you're new here, if you're returning, you already know what it is. Today I'm coming back at you with another hair video. Today is a wash day routine slash wash and go video kind of show you the process i go through to get my hair like this from start to finish so if you guys want to see that make sure you watch the rest of this video and yeah anything else i got to say will be included i also use this new eco styler gel so if you're interested in seeing what gel it is make sure you watch the wash and go portion so my wash days are really simple and easy i like to keep them simple and easy so i am just rinsing my hair i just blow dried my hair like last week so i'm just wetting it down and now i'm just going in with my african black soap this is raw african black soap um i usually use the paste but i ran out so i bought the bar and just put it back in the jar let some water soak to soften it up so i could just use it in little chunks like this and what I do is I just rub the little chunks on my scalp until they dissolve and let them get sudsy. Scrub my scalp and as you can see, I'm washing my hair in a way that is kind of finger detangling while scrubbing. I don't like to mush my hair up against my head when I wash it. It just is not like very helpful and I already have a lot of single strand knots as it is. So yeah, I just do everything in downward motion. Same thing with my conditioner. And I'm just washing my edges really quick just to get off that extra product buildup from the edge control. And I'm going in with my Aussie Moist, my favorite conditioner or only conditioner I really use. And I'm just putting that mostly on my ends. And then I'm just going to proceed to detangle. I start with finger detangling mostly. And then I go in with the brush. And then I use the brush to detangle. I'm going to be using the Easy Detangler today to detangle my hair in the shower. Which makes everything easier i also like to detangle with the brush under the water i don't know i just find it way easier to detangle it goes way quicker no sections needed and then from here i just wring my hair out i really don't rinse all the conditioner out ever when i wash my hair and then i put it up in a little bun all right i'm about to do a quick wash and go mostly what i do on wash days if not i'm throwing my hair up in a braid and wearing it in a bun for the rest of the week i always leave a little bit of in shower conditioner in my hair i say that in every video i really feel like my best wash and goes come out when my hair is detangled like this straight out of the shower with the detangle done in the shower and it's way easier as you can see like the glide of the brush was just super easy yeah i'm about to just do a quick wash and go using this new gel i was supposed to try this mad long ago and i did try and make a whole entire video like right before my last three videos it was just outdated it was like a month old at that point so i was just like yeah you're taking up space tonight final cut pro and i just didn't feel like related to the time anymore so that's why i recorded the last video of me getting ready and stuff like that so if you didn't see it go check it out today is gonna be another wash and go so to continue on with the hair routine i'm just gonna detangle really quickly there's not a lot of detangling to do because we did a lot of it in the shower which is why i like detangling in the shower because it just makes it way easier i have the aussie moist in my hair that's it right now and now i'm gonna use some moisturizing hair milk from Meal Organics. Just a little bit. I already have a lot of conditioner in my hair and I hope it doesn't affect how my wash and go about to come out. Yeah, I just wanna use a little bit. Mostly in the middle of my hair. I need a trim, so I think my next video is gonna be like a blow dry trim video because yeah, I need to get these ends off. And if I don't do it, I might just go to the um, hair salon to get my hair pressed out and trimmed because these ends like are just so bad. I feel like I shouldn't even do a wash and go until I do my trim. But we're gonna do it but yeah i'm about to just go in with the gel i might just speed through this you guys seen my wash and go process so many times do you guys really want me to explain it again do you really and i'm saving my topic that i want to talk about for the next wash and go video just enjoy if i have anything i have to say i will voice it over but if anything it'll just be a visual for you guys first let me squeeze some of this water out of my hair and product because i do have a lot a little too much all right so before we start, this is the Eco Styler Gel. 
it smells like cologne I said this in my last video that I recorded that y'all didn't see but the smell doesn't stay it kind of when it dries it doesn't smell like anything this makes no sense what have i been doing to my hair i think i've just let, been letting it grow and I, I just have not been trimming it the last time i trimmed it was in november when i did that um straightening video and y'all saw how little bit of hair i trimmed and i needed a way more trim so i'm probably gonna have to go to the salon or straighten my hair and literally give myself a bob maybe i'm being dramatic but the way my ends are acting right now mm -mm. i want to do a twist out i wanted to do something different today but my ends are just gonna literally ruin any style and twist outs are really like i don't have really much luck with that hairstyle already and i already know when my ends are trash like this it doesn't ever come out right like i feel like going to get my hair straightened and getting my hair cut because no it's like how am i detangling it everything's detangled and then everything it's a mess there, look. I always want to do one of those wash and goes where I let it, like, I have a bang. Maybe I should do that next time. Do a wash and go and try to style it in a fro style. I think I'm going to do that for my next wash and go. Like this video if you want to see that after my trim. Because I don't even want to attempt that with these ends. So that was literally my 10 minute wash and go. It literally took me 10 minutes to put all the product in my hair and be tangled and all that. My ends are awful like I've been ranting about. I'm just really disgusted with my ends and myself for letting it even get this far. But we're probably, we're gonna fix it soon. I'm gonna let my hair dry overnight and I'll come back in the morning when I wanna style it, when it's time to style it, and when I have an idea of how I wanna style it. It's probably gonna be a puff, but we'll see. So it's the next day. I'm just getting right into stretching my hair and styling it. If you guys want a detailed like breakdown of how I stretch my hair, leave a comment on that or like this video so I know to make that. And yeah, I'm just gonna be speeding through that and then I'll come back when I'm gonna style it. Okay, I have my window open so you might hear my neighbors and the people in my neighborhood talking. I just stretched my hair. This is how it looks. It's still a little wet in the middle so it might shrink up a little again. Who knows? I don't really care. I'm not doing anything today. I think it looks pretty okay. Not too much different than my usual wash and goes. My hair is super, super soft. Um, 
this time which i really like i'm about to put some oil in it before i do my edges actually yeah my hair feels super soft my curls dry nicely um stretching was easy i lost some definition of course but i don't mind um yeah let's add this oil now i'm about to lay my edges and i was opening the jar right and i noticed look it comes out and you can keep the jar. I mean, I don't need it to keep the jar, but I probably will. Now I'm gonna have a bunch of these jars, but I think this is so cool and sustainable. But yeah, I'm about to lay my edges. I was gonna do a style today, but the style is down. And I'm not gonna do too much edges. I'm just gonna leave it like this. My camera's dying, oh no. Yeah, I don't feel like doing anything too special to my hair. The main focus was more so the routine than it is the style. And yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it out and let my hair do its thing today while I edit this video. That's all for today. I ain't got nothing else. Leave a like, share, subscribe. You already know the drill. And I'll see you guys in my next video. They ain't gotta worry if the bag is coming in. I've been putting hours after hours after hours after hours in. I deserve all this glossy drip that I am showered in. Yeah, 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 he's shallow. Upstream without a paddle, big trip. Dip my toe up in the shallow end.